You know what's one of the bad things about living in Chicago? They'll steal the wheels off of anything. Ha ha ha, get in. They're right here. I'm tired of these wheels keep falling out. So we are gonna fix this right now and I'm gonna show you how. Spare wheels, these are repurposed. These are extras. Spare wood, square. First thing I gotta do, you see the two by fours are sitting this way. We gotta lift it up so we can measure how long we're gonna put the back wheels. It's gonna be screwed on the inside of this. Therefore, the back wheels gotta be a little bit further back because they're bigger. All right, just eyeballing it, we were four and a half feet because it's still under the front and it's still under the back. I'm gonna put four wheels on it. This way we can move around really nice. The wheels though, are actually gonna be on the outside of this because this is gonna be on the inside of this. So the wheel's gonna be on the outside, so it should be almost level with this. Kinda see what I'm going for here? I'm gonna drill through the legs and screw that board onto the legs. I'm gonna drill it and then I'll put it on. Then I got these wheels. I was hoping they were gonna fit, but I'm gonna have to cut them down. I'm gonna have to cut them down evenly so they can fit right in here. Luckily, that side has a little piece extra and this side doesn't. So I'm just gonna cut down that little piece extra. And these actually are gonna be either screwed in or nailed in. And these are gonna be for the, this inside corner. I'm gonna make one for this inside corner right here to hold it straight. And then the wheels are gonna be drilled in between. So what I gotta find out if this is gonna be flush right here and these wheels are gonna be on the floor I gotta find out how high it's gonna be compared to these other wheels because these are the ones that I gotta drill through and put the screw on. So I want it to be kind of level. And if you see, if I put these level right here, they may actually be lower than the board. So I may have to screw them on with something else. See, cause this right here would be going to be in the frame so this would actually have to be lower than the frame for the bottom of these to be even all right using the extra two by four i'm trying to measure this out to see and what i might have to do with this is actually before put these in first as low as i could get them in a piece of wood or a solid so get these in first and then level the whole grill to find out where i'm going to push this in on the size right here so it's, you know put a level on top of the grill and then figure out where these are going to get shot right into the side so right now i'm going to close off the back piece right there evenly so the back piece is closed off those are four and a half feet close off the back piece so it's solid and this is going to be for the front piece okay before i go any further i'm going to grab my wheel right here the wheel is going to be on the outside. I'm going to make sure I got clearance. And then when I make sure I got the clearance, I'm going to measure and make sure each one of these is eight and a half. That's eight and three quarters. So I got to kick that in some because I want to make sure these are even before I hit this piece in and make sure I got clearance from the grill. Mind you, this is all extra pieces. So I'm going to drill and screw them in. Uh, but I don't want to split any of this wood, so that's why I'm going to drill them out first. Now I'm going to drill through here twice, and I'm going to shoot two screws through here to hold it to the board. But right now, i got to figure out where this tire is going, and figure out about where this tire is going. I need some meat on the board, but I... So that's about where the tire is going to go, because don't forget, the other tire sits higher so i want some meat on the board and then i'm gonna level the whole thing before i put the front of it in so i'm gonna drill these holes out right now i'm gonna drill the first hole out a little bit bigger than this is the rod that's gonna go between them okay i got lock washers and lock nuts that i'm gonna put on it then i'm gonna use a square to get the exact same measurement for the other side but right now i'm looking for a bit that's big enough that this will just be able to slide right through I'm gonna use a square to mark the exact same length, 
height and width on the other side and drill that one. All right, this is gonna be the setup on this. Okay, this is gonna be the end of the tire. You're gonna put on two screws, a washer on the inside, a washer, a lock washer, I mean two bolts, a washer on the inside, washer, lock washer, two more bolts. These two bolts are gonna tighten together to actually lock it on here. So let me see if I can show you right here. These two are gonna go on first. Don't put them too close together because if you put them too close together, they're gonna lock down on each other. And you don't want them to lock down on each other just yet. You don't want it completely bogged down tight on the tire. You gotta make sure that's gonna go all the way through the axle. Now this is how the first part is gonna go through the wood. Right there. You're gonna put the other axle on. Give yourself room. You can always adjust it later. Another washer lock washer and then two more nuts i'll probably put two washers in between here because i want to make sure i got the spin if i don't tighten it up it's going to be all right so here you go and that's how it's going to be i'll put another washer on each side but when you tighten these up together you tighten both these up together really tight opposite directions to into each other then this won't move this is going to be nice and stiff and sturdy and and it's not gonna move you don't even have that wobble when you put the two washers in there and that's what it's gonna roll on okay when you get to this point make sure you have everything for your inside on both sides right here because if you put them in and only have one you're not going to be able to get them on so you have to have everything to go this way and everything to go this way some people would just use a long bolt to put it right here since i have this extra I've been sitting around for years this is how i'm doing it i put two washers in here looking at it now i should have put two washers in between the tire and the wood the rim and the wood so i'm gonna see if i got any more that's how it's looking so far got the just got the tire up on a brick right now put a bolt on the other side to keep hitting it through to find out exactly where i need it just to fit two nuts on this side right here I got the washer, lock washer, put two washers in between there. And after I put these two nuts and could get these locked on, then I could level everything out for this next tire over here. Why this sticks out so much, I'll probably dip it in a rubber boot. Is because I want the wheel to spin freely. Then you tighten these two together and tighten these two together. And they won't allow the tire to spin in and out. Or when you're moving, it won't allow it to uh, back these out or nothing like that. Then I just got to do this other side and then we're going to start on the front. Tighten them. You just get a socket and a pair of pliers and you tighten these bolts into each other. And when you tighten them into each other, it locks the bolts. Tighten them really good. Now that is not going to roll off. You got to do it to all of them though. All of them. Just tighten them into each other. Now we look like the guy from Texas with the wire wheels. <laughs> Get in. Cut that off with an angle grinder. My next step is I'm going to actually drill through and secure these to the wood right here. I might drill through with screws right now with washers and just shoot them into the wood right here. So you got bolts right here. So you got to make sure you don't hit these bolts. So you kind of got to drill in between them. But I'm going to secure that and this before I level it off and put the front wheels on. So I decided to do. So I'm going to drill through them with a drill. And then I'm going to shoot screws through them. Like I said, I'm using just what I got around the house. So for starters, I'm just shooting it into the screws. Got some lock washers and washers to hold them in place. Four of them. Best thing you like to do is put a bolt through there and screw the bolt shut. I'm going to drill between the two bolts right here. Straight through. And then put it into the wood. Best thing you want to do is drill straight through with a bolt. Put like a quarter inch bolt all the way through it but like i said i'm using what i got right now couldn't ask that to go much better it went all the way tight all the way through i'm gonna do that four times every leg all right since i know this grounding level now i gotta get to level ground so i can know exactly where i gotta shoot the front tires in I'm gonna get an angle grinder cut that off right now and 
this keeps coming apart like when you lift it and move it from here so i might put a handle out here that you can move it easier and roll it because those roll really good the front one's got the swivel rollers the casters so i want something probably that i could lift it up a little bit better right here bolt it to in here that might be a later date let me get these front tires on okay now we're gonna make it easier on ourselves. we got shims bricks everything here it is right here and you see it's not level so what i gotta do is shim the sides of this to find out exactly where i'm gonna screw those wheels in and i did i did cut them down already all right so that's dead center right there hopefully the city streets is dead center uh i told you they were higher so basically with it shimmed up that's where they're gonna be it's clear it makes clearance it makes about two and a half inch clearance so it's gonna be better than what it was and these are bolted on a lot better so i'm gonna drill through here three times i'm probably put three screws right through here and three screws on that side and there you go bob's your uncle i'm gonna put some more screws in this because this is only holding on by one bolt How much easier that is to roll. Ta -da -da -da. There's some screws down here that's loose, that's why this is coming out. I'm actually gonna grab some sheet metal screws. You see, this is just held on by this one screw right here. I bolted these together right here. I'm gonna grab some sheet metal screws, shoot them through right here and right here, as long as it's not going to affect anything in there, which is not. I'm gonna shoot some screws in there to make that. And probably this side more stronger. See, probably shoot some sheet metal screws right there and right there. To get a better bite in that okay so what i'm going to have to do seeing that the tires are higher up i'm gonna get a vibrating saw and cut this right here but i need another blade and i'm not going out this for right now so these tires can freely rotate then these are the last of the sheet metal screws i got every time you move it it would come apart right there so anywhere it's loose i'm just gonna shoot some extra sheet metal screws and then bob's your uncle it is done i don't save anything else anymore so this is going in the dumpster and that's done with everything i had around the house here it looks uneven it's the bricks that are uneven not the ground so if it's going to stay here then i'll just level this part up but if i have to move it like this weekend i got to move it for a block party i'm able to get it around a lot easier i'm gonna buy one more blade because i'm out of blade for wood and i want to cut that on here i don't want to take it apart to cut it i want to cut it on there